Hello guys and welcome to the Hackinons YouTube channel. In this video, we will talk how to convert NumPy array to a string in Python. As we know, NumPy is the most popular library in Python that is used for machine learning and many other machine learning based and analysis based projects. You can easily convert a NumPy array to various forms such as a Python list or a Python data frame, a CSV file, etc. However, in this article, we will see how you can convert a NumPy array to strings using Python. So first things first, if you haven't installed NumPy to your local machine, you need to go to your command prompt and you need to type the command saying pip install NumPy. Okay. So when I press enter, it says requirement already satisfied since I already have NumPy installed. But if you haven't had NumPy installed, then it will get installed and then you will be ready to learn this tutorial. Now that we have got NumPy installed, first things first, let's import the NumPy module. So let's say import NumPy as NP, which is the standard method of initializing NumPy. Now we'll simply create an array called as a test array which we'll be using to test to create this program and we'll say np dot array which means we'll initialize the array and inside that we'll paste a open and closed square brackets that's a python list and in that we'll put some data for the timing i'm just putting random numbers one two three four five okay so now i've placed a list inside my array object and just let's print this test array okay so if I print this test array, as you can see, the array is visible. Okay. The array is visible with us. Now let me type another command saying that print the type of the array. So the Python program will tell us which type is the current array. Okay. So I'll say test array. Inside that I will place a function called as type. And now I'll run the program. So you can see two outputs. One is the first output is the printed array that is being printed on the 12th line. And then on the 14th line, since we are telling the program to print the type of the array, it prints a class called as numpy dot nd array, which means it's trying to tell us that we have saved this data inside a numpy type of data array. Okay. Now our duty is to convert this type of array to a string using numpy okay so i'll just create a python comment saying that converting array to string okay so the function that we'll use to convert an array to string is known as np dot array underscore str and parenthesis so first things first the np object is initialized from the sixth line where we initialize numpy as np hence i'm saying np and numpy has got a function called as array underscore string so basically what it does is we put an array as an input in this function and that simply converts it to a string and returns the output in the form of a string okay so let me create another variable called as out array which means it will be the output array that we'll be getting and now i'll say np dot array underscore str and in the parenthesis i will put the name of the array who i want to convert to a string so in this example i want to convert test array to a string right so inside the parenthesis i'll put test array and now i'll simply print the out array okay i'll print it as well as i'll print the type of the out array using the type function okay so i'll say type array print let me just run the program and as you can see, the first two outputs are of the previous print statement. And the next output is the output of the 24th line and the 26th line. So the 24th line simply prints the data that is one, two, three, four, five. And as you can see, now it says string. It doesn't anymore say numpy dot nd array. Okay. So the numpy dot nd array data type is changed to a class of string which means now we are working with a string data type. Okay. So this is how we can convert our array to a string using NumPy. Okay. 
Now that we know how to convert, we also have few arguments present inside the array string. Okay. So now I would like to talk about these arg arguments. Okay. So let me create a comment and let me write down all the arguments present inside the function. I have written the three important arguments. So let's understand each of these arguments. So the first argument is max line and that is used to provide new lines if the text that we are converting is very long. For example, as a default argument, max line is set to 75. But if you're working with greater data, then you can make changes in that using the max line argument. Then we got another argument called as precision, which is used to work with the precision of your decimals. Okay. So the current precision is eight, which is pretty good. You can also change it to uh, precisions like five or greater than eight, etc. Okay. And the last argument is suppress small. Let me just change the spelling. So it's suppress underscore small and that represents small numbers as zero. So let's say if you're working with a data. So let's say the data has got 0 0.001. Okay. So that will, if we use a suppress small, it will be converted to zero since we are reducing the precision of all the details. Okay. So that is the use of suppress small. So now let's you make use of these arguments inside our code. So first thing is I will change the precision to five and I will also use the suppress small argument and it just takes a truth value. So in this case, I'll change its truth value to true. And now if I run the program, as you can see, everything works fine after the addition of these new arguments. Okay. So these are the three important arguments that you can use inside the function array underscore string. With this video, we learn how to convert array to string using the NumPy library. NumPy being such a popular library offers many such functions such as this function that we spoke about in this video, which helps us to assert and convert different data types from one type to another in Python. If this video helped you out, do drop a like, subscribe to the Hackinons YouTube channel, press the bell icon for further notifications and we'll be back soon with more fun and interesting videos.